Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Bernie and Lance coming to you live again with your favorite digital marketing show, Small Business Saturday. And this week, Lance, we're going to talk about something that we get asked all the time. And it's all about customers and the size of them. And specifically, Lance, people were asking, why is it that you don't take on a million enter enterprise level accounts? Why is it we stick in the small business vertical? How come, how do we pick the clients that are going to be right for us? Well, I mean, people ask us that, why do we not do more enterprise accounts? We have enterprise accounts, but our core business is small, mid-sized businesses. Um, I made that decision years ago um, where I saw all these other agencies. And, and I think for every business that we're having this conversation, you got to ask, what do you want to be, number one? Yep. If you want to be in that enterprise world, great. If you want to be in the small, mid-sized world, that's great too. But what, what do you want to be in? You can be in all three, just like we are, right? But you want to say, okay, when you talk about client dependency, I talk about this all the time, is if you got one client or two clients and they make up your whole entire business, no matter what your business is, it could be a law firm, could be a pain. You know, think about how many contractors come to us and they say, we get all of our work sub to us by one or two. I'm like, well, you might not have your own business then because it's yeah. really their business. They're just subbing it out to you, right? So what happens if they cut the funnel off, right? If they just cut the funnel off, you're out of business. And people don't realize that's what you have to think about is I have to grow and scale my organization, right? And I say, what do I want to grow it to be? But I know one thing I would never do is grow or scale my organization with one or two or three clients and that's it. That's a terrible way. Because what happens if that client dies, go out of business, makes a change. Things happen in life. Yep. Now, I always say this to people, if you can divorce the mother or father of your kids, there's nothing more to any human being than the mother or father of their kid. There's just nothing, right? Besides your children. If you can cut them off at the head, you can cut almost any business relationship off at the head at some point in time for the right reasons or what you think justified. So I know this is a digital marketing tip, but I think there's a huge one where a lot of businesses get bottlenecked or they become very comfortable in working for somebody instead of having their own business. And that's really why they never scale. We always had the mindset of, we're gonna represent multiple businesses across the country. We're going to keep scaling, keep growing, and it's been very good to us. And we're not gonna change that model. And that's why I love having hundreds of clients and we make them successful, they make us successful. It's a fair trade. I think every business should wanna duplicate that model as they grow. And because the issue is this, is clients come, they go, they leave no matter what the business is, right? You can be a law firm, you can be a doctor, a dentist, a paid, doesn't matter what it is. People change what they do. You got to make sure you're set up and your business is set up to success for the long haul. So I would never, ever, ever get relying on just one client, Brian. Yeah, you can't hit your horse to uh, one cart or whatever it is, right? Can't hit your horse to one wagon? You wouldn't put your cart to one horse bro. <laughs> yeah don't put your cart to one horse every it's saturday guys uh we all know what happened on friday night but uh thank you very much lance that was insightful is there anything else you want to add on that it was a nice little riff you gave to people nah hey enjoy your weekend everybody have fun and make sure you build your make sure as you build your business and you keep scaling that small business to mid or mid to large whatever you're growing make sure you just keep your vision and keep true to that vision and make sure you're not hostage to one business very nice. Lance, LJ, thank you very much. Everybody will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to follow me at Lance Bachman on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me on Facebook at Lance Bachman Digital. And every Thursday we drop a new podcast. Don't forget to listen to it. We're giving out great content. And remember this, this is the time to build your business right now. Let's effing go, everybody.